Hi, hello. If you've clicked on this video, this video is part of a best of three series. If you've clicked on this, you've either clicked on games two or three. There is a link there, or maybe down there, that'll take you to game number one if you haven't seen game number one. If you've watched game one or two, I don't know, I, I'm making one video for two. Uh, just, you can skip ahead. You're fine. Bye. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Game number two. Spawning in in the top right hand corner of the map are Infernal 1 0 up in this series. Best of three. So, first to three, first to two wins is Tibnu. And spawning in down in the bottom left hand corner of the map are Celestial Player, Isanj. Like, right, we're going for a fairly similar build on both sides here. Um. Don't think the openers were a problem. Both players got through the openings fairly fine. Seem to be transitioning into that mid to the late game, basically, once you establish that sort of AoE across the board. And mainly dealing with those Venom Mines. <laughs> Lots of annoying little spots on this map for Venom Mines to go down. A lot of choke points up on these high routes. But the main route through the map also has quite a lot of these like frustrating to push through choke points. So we shall see. Hexen walks in. Tries to see what is going on in the infernal in the celestial base, trying to establish whether or not they've got a second base. Basically, um, are they rushing? Or are they doing fairly normal? He's seen that second base, can pretty happily confirm. So he's teleporting home. So he can get there in time for this first route to come out and get this health camp up as early as possible. Start clearing this map. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a little bit of a talk about this map. So uh, your main mace has this. Um, you know, standard setup of uh, Luminite and Therium. Second natural only has Luminite. There is Therium down here on the low ground. It's a bit more difficult to, to defend though because it has this weird tree setup as well as two ways that you can get rounds. So you're kind of having to defend from a full circle. So your natural third or fourth or whatever you want to call it is up here on this sort of high ground. Though it isn't uncommon for players to take this base down here. This base is down on the low ground near this energy camp, but it has a nice little ramp that comes down into it. It can be sieged from the high ground, especially from Celestials or, uh, sorry, especially by uh, Vanguards. But anyone with a long range, you know, Sabres on the high ground, uh, Hellborn on the high ground, can really harass a lot of this. But that's the true for a lot of these bases. Even the one up here, right? You can have Hellborn and stuff on the high ground, which gets it. So, as always, as is really the, the play with, with, um, with Stormgate, map control more important than ever. Fiends coming across the map. See if they can find any picks while the Argents are out. Starting to try and take some picks on this scout camp. Obviously, the kills here give you resources, so it's best if you can try and get it. Oh, it's actually a bit of trouble here. There's such a large number of fiends. Yeah, it's infested. The second one goes down. So they're also going to run out of tower. They're going to retreat up here to this high ground. Sorry, a retreat to, this, uh, to the healing camp. Healing camp does actually spread a little bit onto this low ground. The dangerous position for for uh, Ice Sunshine now. What is this imp doing here? A shroud stone being put on the low ground here. Tries to start up around. Sovereign Watch comes down. Tries to get that deterring down. These Argent's going to try and march in. Basically, their job is to try and get rid of that uh, shroud stone that's coming down. That's really frustrating. Arc ship comes down. Arc ship provides healing. It has the ability to heal nearby units. As long as they don't take any more damage, they'll heal. For a period of time. It's decent, especially for ranged units like Argents, because they can sit at the back and some of the back will not often get uh, attacked unless they're being hit back by um, infesting Gaunts. So with a couple of picks, these fiends are starting to get decent surround right now. But the number of fiends growing. Sovereign Watch on the high ground now starting to be able to take care of it as well. But interestingly enough, Sovereign Watch, I didn't know this, can't deal damage to buildings. It's only uh, it's only units. So yeah, look at it. Not able to deal with the Shroudstone, so Argent's trying to walk in now. Their job, just to try and deal with the Shroudstone. Shroudstone will be taken down. <coughs> Two more fiends. But the number of Argents has slowly increased and slowly declined, and Isatch has basically able to stabilize. Still had to spend more time than he would like to and more money in this situation. But in the background, Tipnu hasn't actually set up a second base in this whole time that this has been going on he could have established a second base but he spent a lot of this economy trying to establish this attack which has been successfully defended right now so now Tiffany's is getting rid of a position here he wants to try and establish a second base but his opponent has established this huge army of Argents, and you don't have a whole lot of stuff to invest you only have one uh one singular hexen which is on less than 25 energy so can't use that invest 
And I was actually doing the correct thing here, heading straight across the map. And the army currently is up here trying to get the energy camp. Trying to give himself some more energy so that he could actually get infested across the map. But the Argents are wandering in. They are seeing this base. It's going to get shot. It gets cancelled immediately and killed. So that is no second base for Tibnu. Down a whole base. Not a position you want to be in in this sort of, uh, in this sort of game. And you can see this sort of aggressive forward post. This is what we like to see out of the Celestials. They like to do this more forward moving bases, getting their Morph Core across the map, putting a, uh, a creation chamber across the map, putting some power banks across the map to reinforce it. You see this little beam of light that's coming up from here? This is called a prime structure. So prime structures for the Celestials, all of their buildings of the same type when they produce will instead produce from this building. So you can see that creation chamber just finished and this Argent just pushed out. It'll pop out of the furthest, uh, well, of wherever you have dedicated as the prime structure. So there you go. Large number of Argents come in. That was that big infest Nightfall Overwatch, which is the sort of like um, top bar ability that infest has, that uh, Infernal has. One singular Magmadon tries to come in, but it's all melee damage. So careful stutter stepping across the map. And look at this arc ship coming all the way across the map as well. This is also being allowed to add to that healing. So you see that, uh, that Argent there is now getting healed up at quite a rapid rate. Gives himself that staying power, which is really frustrating and really difficult for um, Infer Infernals to deal with unless they have those gaunts, which they currently don't. Because they only need to take one bit of damage on that healing dust stop. But in comes the spike. Stompy, stompy, stomp. Doesn't manage to get a whole lot off of it, and it looks like that Magadon might be picked off. It's able to get a couple more shots off, but yes, there you go. Big pick. And this power bank is down. Singular Igon is here. This is looking such a terrifying pause right now. Not really much in the production way coming out of it. And that is it. Game number two goes the way of Ice Ash. Brilliant game there from Ice Ash. Well played across the board. Hello, hello, hello again. It's me. This video is, in fact, part of a full series. People don't tend to click on longer videos and YouTube's algorithm loves retention and follow through so you should be able to just click on the link that's should hopefully should be up there to it'll take you to the next game um cool sorry <laughs> youtube sucks <laughs> bye